So, Pekka Lundmark, I think I speak for all employees of Fortum and warmly welcome you to the company. Uh, what what uh, was it that convinced you to accept uh, this offer to take the CEO position? Thank you very much. Uh, this is a very exciting opportunity. I mean, this is a possibility to influence the development of the energy market, which is really in the, in the corner, in the center of the whole development of the society. And who could say no to that? Um, of course, you just started uh, as CEO, so it might be a something that you don't have a clear answer, but what, what do you think will be your uh, first priorities in starting? Very clear is that my first priority will be to meet as many people uh, as possible. I want to learn from all the excellent people that there are with Fortum. Then of course I want to meet uh, with uh, customers, I want to understand how they think, I want to meet with uh, investors and other stakeholders. I have already had a lot of discussions, of course, with the board members and management team members of Fortum, but uh, that does not replace the importance of directly communicating with the employees and hearing from them how they feel. Uh, speaking of the board, have you been given any specific instructions on uh, uh, the development or the direction of Fortum from, from the board? Not directly. We have an excellent strategy where, of course, the, for me personally, also the most important thing is the development towards uh, CO2-free uh, generation. I mean, that is the cornerstone of the strategy and, and uh, I believe that that will continue. But uh, other than that, uh, not really. That's something that, that we will be working on now during the autumn. Yes. Uh, I, I read that in your previous position as CEO, you actually moved to Singapore to get closer to the customers and, and learn from the markets on site. Uh, what, what kind of experience did you draw, thro draw from that, that, that you benefit you and will benefit Fortum? That was really an interesting uh, experience. The reason for that was simply that uh, I'm the type of person who wants to lead from the front and uh, not from, uh, from distance. I, I moved to Singapore because uh, two thirds of uh, uh, the growth potential of my previous company was in uh, ASA. I wanted to meet with uh, as many customers as possible, understand how they, how they think in order to understand where ASA is going. Okay, uh, one final question then. Uh, of course, everyone inside and external are, are expecting uh, big things uh, and, and the market is changing. So when can, when can we expect the first big news to be announced? <laughs> I don't have an answer to that question. And of course, big news are not an end in itself. Uh, now I want to meet as many people as possible. I will take then time and uh, go through those answers to understand what our situation is and uh, then we will take it uh, from there. Thank you very much for your time and once again welcome. Thank you.